Hello, this is Jim Rees at TSI, and I'm going to demonstrate very quickly here the differences between building data on the duck side and Autodesk fabrication content delivered out of the box. So when you install the fabrication content, you're presented with Imperial Content version 2.0, and during that installation process, you will find that there's ability to go get enhanced content from building data which is this right here and you can choose from either one of these database here and when you're buying building data particularly on the ductwork side so I've taken the opportunity of opening up both uh, of those so I'll just bring up both of those right here um, when you buy building data you have the opportunity of getting the duct along with the pipe so left hand side over here uh, I have the building data database including the duct components and I've got the out of the box option from Autodesk and so what I was going to do is just show some of the differences between the two in terms of what you're getting in terms of the number of patterns and the configuration that you get so the patterns that come from uh, Autodesk include you know the components that you see here but the difference is we're actually configuring those into meaningful services. So for example, if I go to the Autodesk under rectangular, for example, and I go to the sheet metal components under building data and take a look at the rectangular manufacturer components, you'll see them right here. Now the difference is some of these bends are the same, but the configuration has been done in such a way that it's easy to pick them up and use them directly out of the box and these are also built in pre-built services so for example if I go to uh, bought out round here versus bought out round here you'll see there's quite a bit more defined within the actual database itself and so manufactured versus bought out okay um, the other thing that you will find directly within the database comparing one to the other um, we've predefined a lot of things related to multi-connections, round to oval, um, rectangular to round, for example. And so we've got things like high efficiency takeoffs that are defined uh, and all the different configurations for those types, as opposed to just going to the round and saying, oh, well, I can go ahead and create that from the components that I see within my library. And I would either do that from something that you see here, or you go to the actual raw component out of the box and make that call it manufactured and do what you have to do to make it happen so we've done 10 years of work configuring the components used within the um, software to make it meaningful and so some of the examples that go deeper into the software related to such things um, get into the database for example on the building data database for example if I go to take off uh, example go to CAD settings uh, look at services and pull up um, a duck service that's supply error and if I do the same thing inside of the default configuration and I look at supply error um, these are the layer controls that are set up within the default out of the box okay and when you go to do something like oh I don't know a conversion of Revit to um, fabrication it's going to use these services to map to and it's also going to use the button mapping which you see here compared to the button mapping you see in the default out of the box same goes for terminal styles as you're finding your terminal styles and what to do when you come across the terminal so there's been a lot of work that's done in the actual default configuration that supports what's taking place in the actual software itself so it's more than just having patterns and having the options to create patterns it's knowing what's being used in the specific market of Imperial which is the uh, North American market and how those are applied to the actual um, components themselves things like hangers and um, equipment components you know we have a full area that relates to equipment and all the different types of equipment that you'll have okay so just to give you an idea of uh, some of this relates to estimating as well 
uh, the data that we put in the actual program for things like manufactured versus uh, fabricated on ductwork, for example, we have a bought out area, which means that there'll be labor for installation, but not for fabrication, as opposed to manufactured. And over here, you just basically have one and you can configure that on your own to make that happen within your estimating uh, module of estfab. So uh, I just want to give a, a brief, quick description of some of the things that are related to how we differ in relation to, in building data, in relation to what comes out of the box. And that's not even touching things like machinery configurations, coil download, plasma download, reports, tags, all the things that go along with fabrication. Thank you very much.